Welcome to the Shelby Lifestyle. In today's video, I'm going to tell you nine reasons why my Shelby GT500 Super Snake is better than a Dodge Demon. So to kick off with reason number one, my Shelby Super Snake does not need racing fuel. Currently, I live in California. The highest octane I could buy at my local gas station is 91. That is horrible compared to the rest of the country. Now, the Dodge Demon needs a minimum of 100 octane to run all its 840 horsepower. Now, to put this into context, if a Dodge Demon rolls up next to me on the highway while running normal pump octane, I'm gonna have over 200 more horsepower. Is the Dodge Demon gonna hang? Nope, not even close to the same league. And I don't need a separate key or a tune. The Super Snake is always running at its full potential. So reason number one is just gonna have to be the fuel that's required in either car. Next up is the weight. The Shelby GT500 Super Snake weighs around 3,900 pounds. The Dodge Demon weighs over 4,300 pounds. Why would you want a drag car that weighs over two tons? That means my Shelby Super Snake is not only more light, it's more nimble and it's able to be driven on a road course, something the Dodge Demon is incapable of doing. Reason number three is going to be top speed. The Dodge Demon is limited to a top speed of 168 miles an hour. That means my GT350R track car will beat the almighty Dodge Demon in the Texas mile. Not only would my GT350R beat it, but my 2007 CLK63 convertible AMG will. Now, I prefer my drag cars to be able to run the eighth mile, quarter mile, half mile, even the full mile stretch. Therefore, the Shelby Super Snake is a clearly more versatile vehicle. Reason number four is gonna have to be the value. Dodge is planning on making over 3,300 Dodge Demons. That is horrible for long-term value. For instance, the Dodge Hellcat's a $62,000 car. Currently, I can choose from a selection of 50 of them on sale on Auto Trader for sale with a price tag below 50 grand. My signature edition Super Snake is one of 50 in the world. Of the 50 built, only three were made to produce 1,000 horsepower straight from the Shelby American factory. Shelby Mustangs hold their values incredibly well. My Super Snake is not only more valuable, it's also more rare. Controversial reason number five is gonna be the transmission. The Shelby Super Snake is available only in a stick shift transmission. That is a feature that's unavailable in the Dodge Demon. The Dodge Demon comes with an eight speed automatic transmission. At most, you're just slamming your foot to the floor and flipping up that paddle shifter between each gear. The Super Snake rewards you with progress and skill. It's an experience that's unavailable in the Dodge Demon. This one is sure gonna stir up the pot. Reason number six is the design. Whenever I look at a Dodge Challenger, a Hellcat wide body, or even a Demon wide body, I'm unable to tell what car is which. They have the same exact rear ends and front. The only way to tell them apart is a single badge on the sides. The Super Snake, when you look at it, you can tell it's something different. It doesn't look like any other Mustang you can buy. Every time I go to a Cars and Coffee event, people are drawn to the vehicle. Reason number seven is the whole no roll cage dilemma. Currently, Dodge flaunts how the Dodge Demon is banned from the NHRA, which means the car is ineligible to run pre 10 second quarter miles. The same quarter mile that Dodge brags about makes the car the fastest car in the world. And they quote, it's race ready, it's built for the drag strip, designed with drag racers in mind. If that was true, would it be fully built for the drag strip like you say? But for some reason, it's not. When you order a Shelby Super Snake, you have an option to put on a roll cage, which means you can drag race the car at any level that you want, straight from the manufacturer. Reason eight is gonna be the package. 
When you buy Dodge Demon, you gotta also order a separate box. And this box is essentially a box full of mods. And with these mods, you put together and assemble your car. You essentially build the car to its potential. So is it exactly the fastest production car? No. I don't need a box full of mods to assemble my car to live up to its name. <laughs> Number nine is gonna be all the claims. For example, a Dodge advertises their car as the fastest production car in the quarter mile. Zero to 60, highest G-force, highest horsepower of any production car. But on their website, they go on to compare it to certain cars like the Bugatti Veyron. Specifically, it says the Dodge Challenger SRT Demon is faster than a $1.6 million exotic car. You go to click on what car it is, Oh, it's a Bugatti Veyron. Well, since you're comparing that to the Veyron, what about the Bugatti Chiron? That car has a faster 0 to 60 and faster quarter mile. So the advertising is very shady with the Dodge Demon. So after coming to this conclusion, I decided to look up what the definition is of a production car. So it says being constructed for retail sale to consumers, fitted with original manufacturer supplied road tires, having had 25 or more instances made by the original vehicle manufacturer being street legal. Okay, so doesn't that make the Bugatti Veyron a production car? If you go to Wikipedia, it clearly shows you the world's fastest zero to 60 production cars. Tesla Model S is number two, Porsche 918 Spider is number one, Bugatti Chiron is number three. So clearly the Dodge Demon is not the world's fastest zero to 60 production car, so that is false. Same goes for the highest horsepower production car, that is false. And the list just keeps going on and on. It looks like a bunch of sale pitches designed to mislead a target audience. Shelby, on the other hand, doesn't do such a thing. You're buying the car for what it is. You're not buying it for the headline catchy titles. It's a vehicle, truly, for the enthusiasts. Thanks for watching. That was nine reasons why my Shelby GT500 Super Snake is better than a Dodge Demon. If you liked it, make sure to smash that like button, comment down below what you think, and also subscribe to the channel for much more great content. See y'all in the next video.